Oh, I got 10%. All right, so I'm at the rest area. I'm not going nowhere no time soon because homie is in the way. As I was sitting here, uh, I wanted to eat the rest of my lunch because I started eating lunch, then my load was ready. So I was like, I'm eating like a turtle anyway. I'm really full. So I just ate the rest of it. But um, I, I'm in Florida, just came off my home time. I got a thousand mile load headed to Texas. So right now I've already been driving for a little while. I've got, and it's not hazmat. Um, I think I, I, I have totes, so I'll be bouncing a little bit um, because of all of that liquid that's back there. But Yeah. I'm doing my pre trip this morning. Notice my left turn signal is not on. So, I figure this is fuse, right? So, called maintenance because I opened my fuse panel and I couldn't find which one I think it is. So, we're trying to figure it out, but they're taking another call right now. Obviously, something more serious. So, uh, I got my fuse panel off because I know where that is. He had me try to unplug the pig, pig tail on my trailer and that didn't do anything. Um, so, this is the fuse panel. This is open. I think I found it. I think it's it, there's several lighting control modules, so I'm just gonna pull them out and see what happens. There isn't a specific one. I think this might be blurred, but there isn't a specific like left turn signal or whatever. So I just have a few lighting control modules, so I'm assuming that those are it. So this first one is B1R. So here's B1, and then here's R. So I think it's here which means it would be like and it's a 15 amp right is it telling me the amps where did i find it it told me the amp it was somewhere that would tell you what the amp what the amp was uh oh right here haha <laughs> here we go so it's a five amp one so that'll make it easier to find it over here uh-huh yeah um Mm -hmm. uh, uh well we'll come back because um i don't know if this is flipped or what it would be nice if this was labeled all right so i just took out a fuse and now i have no headlights so obviously that's not the one my maintenance department um it's not a it's not a fuse it's a, the actual bulb because all of our other left turn signal lights are working it's just you know it's good to call because people will give you ideas that you don't think of a troubleshooting tip that i can add to my my bag of tricks if you will um just something new that i learned so <laughs> if all your other lights are working except that one light it's probably the bulb and not a fuse you know, you learn something new every day. Now I just need to remember it. I just need to remember it. Um, so I'm getting ready to go to uh, Love's because there's one like 27 miles away. Hopefully because it's so early, it's like literally eight o'clock central time. Um, people will be driving and they won't really need no repair, so I won't have to wait for too long, but we'll see. My plan is to, if I end up being there for a while, if it's gonna be a long wait, just go ahead and pay and shower there and then just go straight to my receiver because I had already planned to get there tonight and stage and then just creep on in there tomorrow morning and hope that they would unload me early and then maybe load me early. But either way, I was gonna get there tonight. So we'll see how, we'll see how this pans out. It'll be 572 miles, and yeah, I have 10 hours and 29 minutes on my clock. I think I'll continue to wait. By the time he, you know, finishes and I do my payment and everything, um, I would have been off duty for two hours, so it'll pause my clock. Um, 
But yeah, so I'll be, I've already showered and everything, so I don't really need to do anything but get fuel, which I plan to get fuel. I'm in a panhandle of Florida right now. Either way, I'm out here in these, you know, hunting ground streets. But yeah, so I'm at a quarter of a tank, so I'm going to stop in Alabama and get fuel. Plus, I will have already passed the way station in Alabama. So I'll go right to mobile, fuel up, and then keep it pushing. Oh, I don't know what kind of weird angle. I know it's a weird angle, so just bear with me. But uh, I just got my truck. I mean, I just got my paperwork. I just paid for um, service, so I got my, my lamp replaced. Thank God it was only that. It wasn't like the whole assembly or anything, you know, no wire issues or anything like that. So I'm about to hit the road. And I'll see y'all either when I'm getting fuel or maybe when I'm stopped for the night. I'll be bad about, you know, vlogging once I'm stopped, but yeah. Now I'm sitting here enjoying the breeze, talking to my niece Kendra, enjoying my food for my that I got from Mole Southwest Grill. Cause there's the moles here at this pilot here in Mississippi. I initially stopped just to get fuel, but since they had it, I was like, I gotta do a 30 anyway at some point. Might as well do it now. Y'all, this food is so darn salty. If I had to take my blood pressure right now, it'd probably be high. It's like sky high. This is crazy. I really gotta get back on my meal prep because this stuff is meant to kill you. This, this is supposed to be a healthier option. Or maybe I thought it was supposed to be a healthier option, but it definitely is not. All right, I made it. It's 9.37 at night and I'm here. So I'm about to go to sleep. Well, you know, as far as you guys are concerned, I am. <laughs> Good night, bye. All right, this dock with no lines and 14% battery. We gonna see if uh, I can do it in one shot. Ain't nobody around me, so I should be able to do it. All right, so I'm getting ready to kill this back. All right, you know, I just told y'all I'm gonna do this in one shot, even without no lines, I can do it. There's no nobody next to me, you know, no other options. Okay, see what had happened was, it is more difficult than you would realize backing in with no lines on the ground. You need the guide, just like you need lines on the road to keep you and let you know where your lane ends and where it begins. Those are necessary things. Can you drive on the road and stay in your lane? Yes, but is it much easier, much safer to have lines on the road? Of course it is. So don't y'all be judging me because I couldn't back up in one shot when it was wide open. All right. Y'all, I'm never gonna get this trailer up. Never, never. The tandems just slide. This little old prop into motor trailer with the little pool bar actually works. I used to hate these trailers. I worked on a couple, I'm not gonna say who, but every time I had them dang trailers, if I couldn't pull the bar, it was all extra rusted out and stuff, and they out. This would be out a little bit more, but it's out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We good here. Yeah. You can count that done. 